Hi folks, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. So today I want to take a look at a paper which came out just a couple of days before I'm recording this. And this is a paper that presents a system called Toolformer, which looks at how one can incorporate tools or API calls into the training and inference of a large language model itself. So let's dive in and take a closer look. In the last video, I looked at a library called Langchain, which pairs the output from LLMs with API calls so that you can use the output of LLMs to drive API calls to drive actions. Now, the work in this paper goes much, much further than that. The authors describe how to incorporate the use of APIs into the training and inference of the LLM itself. What is the motivation? Now, there's some well-known limitations of LLMs. They obviously can't look up things. They don't have access to current information. They don't have access to actually perform actions or calculations or just run arbitrary code. And that is why you see all these examples where if you outright ask an LLM to say multiply two two-digit numbers, often the answer is going to be wrong. Or if you ask it to perform some kind of a logic task with objects or sequences, often it will get it wrong. And that really is the core problem the authors are trying to solve here, which is if you pair these LLMs with other external tools that are able to do all these external information lookups or able to do calculations or able to do reasoning, then you get much better predictions out of the LLM. The cool new thing about this piece of work is that the model is autonomously deciding which APIs to call and when. So here are some examples of output from this model. And you can see that the model itself is annotating the places where in its inference step, in the prediction step, it decided to call out to an API to enhance the usefulness or the truthfulness of the prediction. The way they achieve this is by integrating the insertion of these API calls into the core training process. This diagram gives an overview of it. Now, supposing you have your input data set for training, which contains all this text. What they're doing is trying to find positions in the text where they can insert sample API calls. They then execute these API calls. So for example, the input data set contains the sentence, what other name is Pittsburgh known by? And they put in an API call to a question answering API which returns the answer steel city and then i think this is really the crucial part they filter out the calls which do not improve the prediction so they filter out calls which do not reduce the loss function over the following few tokens and once you filter those out you get an annotated data set with the remaining api calls so these are the api calls which did improve the loss function over the next few tokens. As I explain here in a bit more detail, after filtering out these API calls, they interleave these annotated API calls into the original text. And then crucially, this is integrated into the inference step as well. So they produce output from this just like a normal LLM would by predicting the next few tokens. But when they come across this special token, which tells them that there was an API call made, they stop the decoding process and call that API, the predicted API, to get a response and then insert the response into the prediction. So the final output from this LLM is the usual text that you would expect as output from an LLM, but it's interleaved with the API calls it made to improve the output. In this work, the authors are using some simple tools that they're calling out to things like a question answering system, a calculator, Wikipedia search, a calendar API, a language translation system. As their base model, they're using GPT-J, 
which is a model with 6 billion parameters. So it's much smaller than some of these other models like OPT, which has 66 billion, or GPT-3, which has 175 billion parameters. And they're getting some pretty good results. So for example, on language tasks, which make heavy use of the question answering tool, with Toolformer, they're seeing results that beat GPT-3. So they're taking GPTJ, which is an LLM with 6 billion parameters, they're enhancing it with Toolformer and getting better results than just raw GPT-3, which is 175 billion parameters. They're seeing similar results with mathematical reasoning tasks where Toolformer does much, much better than raw GPT-3 without access to any tools or calculators. So that was a quick look at uh, a cool new approach to training and using LLMs, which augments their capabilities with external tools and external API calls. And as the results here show that doing this kind of augmentation, you can get results with smaller sized LLMs that beat results from unaugmented LLMs that are much, much larger, an order of magnitude larger. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thank you very much.